I'm here, we're back, but first, a massive apology. It's been a couple of months since you've heard from us, but I've got so much to update you on. So spin your mind back to May, and for us, it was packed with our youth clubs and our events. So our youth clubs, we had Step Up making candles, and our primary club making fruit smoothies. We had fun in the sun, and the lovely weather meant we could use our outdoor space a lot more. May saw us on a lot of trips. Our primary youth club got to go to Tamworth Castle. You can see by their faces how much they enjoyed it. Our senior group went on a bushcraft weekend. It was a challenge, but I'm so glad that I did it. Now our step up group, they got lost in Sutton Park. But we found them and we're back and they had a great time. And we got to do one of our great family trips, family fishing. It's great to get everyone together, parents, families, kids, enjoying the outdoors. May also saw us with a few events, something we're also privileged to enjoy here. Grime Boy came to free at last on their community tour. Did you know that was written by Neutral's own Casey Bailey? And Jack, who I'm sure I've spoke about before, he played his first gig. Seeing him on stage was brilliant. And now, whizzing forward into June, we had so many events because of course, it was the Jubilee. So starting things off, we had our Jubilee tea party. We want to say a massive thank you to Naomi at Candy Bubbles for donating some decorations. A national week that for us means so, so much, Volunteers Week. It was the first week of June and it gave us a massive opportunity to say thank you to our volunteers. We wouldn't be here without you. 2022 really is a summer of sport for us in the UK. Hockey is one of those sports and some of our young people went to Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre to watch England's women's hockey take on the Netherlands. Our young people even got to hold the flags during the national anthem, talk about proud. Told by an idiot, a rep production brought their community tour to free at last, I told you we're lucky. This time it was a production about Aston Villa, we all loved it. Told by an idiot also came to our senior youth clubs and taught a dance and acting workshop too. I was in my element. Liam and Sean from our senior youth club joined Greg and John on a hike up Blencarther. It was part of training for the Chile 2023 fundraiser. You'll be hearing a lot more about that. One of the great community things of the Commonwealth Games this year is Gen 22. Me and my sister Maya pitched our business idea to a panel and we were selected. We even got to meet Prince Edward. And something great to see back in June was our entrepreneurial challenge. The event saw two of our local schools come together in an entrepreneurial challenge. With local businesses giving their time to support and mentor the young people, it was great seeing the community together. I was on the judging panel and we had the tough job of choosing the best business out of the eight groups. The ideas that they came up with this year were so brilliant, so many of them could literally go to market. For us sitting down, it was a tough decision, but Naomi's group won through. Go Naomi! So closing things off for June, onto our youth clubs. Our Step Up Club did the egg challenge. Whose egg could stay in one piece? They worked together in teams, the rivalry was great, but seeing them work together was really brilliant. For our primary group, it was all about hockey. Hockey Futures have been in club to teach us all about hockey. Who knows, a future captain of England's women's hockey team could be right in this centre. How exciting. Our primary youth club also got a very special visit, Perry the Bull. If you didn't know already, he's the mascot of the Commonwealth Games. The kids love Perry. And finally, our step up group, they visited the theatre to see Guys and Dolls. Remember the big balloon build from last year and the theatre company that put on the big show? Well, BMOS, the theatre company, donated 20 tickets for our young people to get the theatre experience. What a show. So that's it. May and June all caught up. We've got an epic summer ahead, so stay tuned and I'll be back soon.